Here we are with the members of Tennis Colorado Band. We have Patrick, <laughs> his wife Elena, and Reed. All right. Um, so when it's, uh, this might be more a Patrick game, but uh, when was the last time you were in Des Moines? And if either of the other two were, you can Just let me know. last August, actually. We, I basically found myself here. I have pretty single stake there really for the most part. <laughs> yeah, it's not making me look very professional. Um, yeah, I'd say every August for the last at least five years, just to stop by the state fair. It's usually a good time to fit in a road trip. This is like just the end of summer, right before school starts. So I'm used to uh, making this trip out here just before college classes, all the way through back to high school. And I don't know. I've been out here a lot. <laughs> is this, uh, have, have you been to the fair before then? No, I've never been to the fair. Okay. No, but I grew up watching uh, the musical State Fair, so I know all the songs. <laughs> so it means a lot to me somehow, <laughs> and I've never been. Cool. Sure. Um, yeah, this is my first time in Iowa altogether, I think. Um, I grew up in the Midwest, though, in Kansas mostly, before I moved to Denver. But um, first time in Des Moines, seems like a great city. Weather's a little rainy today, but uh, it still should be a fun time at the show tonight. Yeah, this is our first rain, and like it's been like hot and sunny for weeks, and then suddenly it's cooled way down. It's a little odd. Um, so is this you guys' uh, first tour then? It like is. This is actually only like our fifth show ever. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we've all we all kind of played in different bands growing up, but um, between like the conception of the band and the first few songs that got written, we've really only been a band for like seven months now. And, uh, yeah, this will be our fifth show tonight. <laughs> so, so it, like, this early in the process, are you guys working out a lot of things still on, you know, yeah, what your lay live show is yeah. like? Yeah, it's really fly by the seat of our pants. We just make it up as we go. <laughs> but I think uh, the band happened so naturally. Like, we didn't, the first time we actually, like, played together, like, after Elaine and I wrote a few of the songs, we just, like, came, played with Reed for the first time, and it all happened, and it was just like, oh, that sounds good, let's just keep yeah. doing this. And it was, there was never like a rough period, I feel like. It was just already like, it's always been easy. Yeah, <laughs> cool. it's been really easy. And it's curious, um, how did uh, you end up uh, with the oh, band? Was, yeah. Um, me and Pat used to play in bands going all the way back in the middle mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. And um, we were roommates too, about a year before we started yeah. dating Elena, maybe a little less. And yeah. um, I used to live in the apartment that they live in now with Pat, and then now yeah. I moved out a year later and played in some other bands around Denver, and uh, they came back to me and played drums for him, asking to, and I was delighted. It's like a yeah, actually, I played in the first band of my entire life with them, so. Mm -hmm. Back in uh, seventh grade, eighth grade? Eighth, uh, no, eighth grade, yeah, I didn't grade. Call right yeah. until eighth grade. And I know you guys have had the uh, EP out, or is it a single, or was it? It's, it's the, we have two seven inches okay. out. There's two songs on one and three on the other, and those are the only ones recorded right yeah. now. Okay. There, um, one of them's released by our friend Tyler, or not Tyler, Trevor. 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 Our friend Trevor in Denver runs a small label called Fire Talk. Um, it's a pretty neat local label, and he did all the pressing and dis um, internet distribution kind of himself set it up. And yeah, and then the other one's from. Email. The other one's actually kind of like why we're a band. Like we wrote a bunch of songs and then like made a MySpace page to show our, our family, <laughs> but didn't really expect for the page to do any work for us. We didn't really want the page to, we didn't really want our band to become a public band. And then uh, jokingly at a house party we met um, these people who run a label called Underwater Peoples out in New Jersey. And uh, after a few drinks one night it just came out that we had a band and then they ended up looking it up the next day, which I don't even know how they found it because there's like a hundred other bands named Tennis. And uh, yeah, we certainly, I think we had like four views on our profile or yeah. something, so it must have been really hard to find. And then, yeah, yeah, and then they found it and immediately we're just like, we love this. Could you do, like, can you improve the recordings a little bit? Um, we'll pay for everything. We want to put out a seven inch. And we're just like, oh, this sounds fun now, so let's try this. And they've helped a lot of a lot with the making booking connections and just helping us network our yeah. way into the industry and meet people. Well, yeah, actually, this whole tour was booked by them, the mm -hmm. New Jersey label Underwater Peoples. So, yeah, 
And uh, are you guys working on a full length then? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's done for the most part. It's been done for a while. Um, we just, uh, when we got back from our sailing trip, we, you know, we wrote these songs to just kind of like reflect upon the experience. It was kind of like a creative outlet in a sense. Um, but we did it in like the most minimal means possible. Like we recorded all of them in our apartment, just her and I, with a little drum machine, like a 1980s drum machine, and like an old Tascam 8-track cassette recorder. Uh, really basic microphones, like sure microphones, and then that was it. And we couldn't even play anything loud, so they're really, really... Everyone's been tagging them as lo-fi, but I don't know how intentional that was. It's kind of like as good as it gets with an apartment. <laughs> um, so we're going to try... It's looking like September 5th. We're going to go into a recording studio and actually do it like the way we want to do it without any restrictions. With Reed with instead Reed, of yeah. 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 yeah, we'll replace the, uh, the $30 <laughs> 1980s drum machine with Reed. So we'll see if it's an improvement. A little bit more than $30. Yeah. <laughs> I've yet to prove that. Yeah. <laughs> and um, since uh, we're going to, you know, the fair is going on and uh, we're going to be putting this up on our fair, blo our fair blog, believe, oh, I believe, along with other places. What is your favorite fair food? And I know you guys haven't been to the Iowa State Fair, but if you have favorite foods from other fairs. I think it's probably fair. Fair food that I don't eat is my favorite fair food. Um, <laughs> I think it's just, I love like seeing the assortment of foods that probably limit your life expectancy <laughs> by a few years. Yeah, all the deep fried, like everything. Fried Snickers, yeah. fried, I, I remember the first year. I tr at least I feel like I... The first year when they did the fried Snickers, that was it was a revolutionary moment for for the world. <laughs> <laughs> and I just feel like every year it's just obesity. like yeah, <laughs> every year it's just a step up. It's like there's that new food that you're like, wow, I didn't think someone was gonna do that, but they did. <laughs> so I, I love reading about all that stuff, and it's yeah. it's really. I haven't been to the fair yet, but every time we stop in Des Moines at his aunt and uncle's house, they give us the like fair flyer or what a newspaper insert and I just read all the food on a stick. There's like <laughs> 150. That's my favorite thing yeah, to yeah. read every year when we come through. <laughs> I, I actually really like turkey legs. I was going to say uh, I usually get a turkey leg at least <laughs> one when I go out there. I'm pretty like skinny meat. bound so any calories I can get is always a good thing. <laughs> so. all right. Well, um, 